But thank you all for, for being here today, for coming out on behalf of Miriam and her two children. I will tell you, this is the first time that I have stood outside of the White House to address an issue like this, or any issue for that matter. There was a time when people of faith could sit down inside the White House and talk about these issues. Now we have to come to the steps and petition our own government to speak up for people of faith who are being persecuted across this world. In fact, there was a time as a veteran of the Marine Corps when there was an understanding that we did not leave Americans behind. And we have a 27-year-old mother who is in a Khartoum prison. Now, this is not like the five-star prison that the Taliban Five were being held in in Guantanamo. This is a prison in which, according to the UN, one infant dies each day during this time of year. I mean, this is a, a, a horrible prison. Uh, this is a place in which many people do not exit. Miriam has been sentenced to death. Why? Because she's a criminal? No, because she's a Christian. And I find it astonishing that our own administration, our own president cannot find his voice to speak up for someone who has been sentenced to die simply because they were ex exercising not an American right, but a fundamental human right to choose their faith. I want to thank you for being here, but I want to encourage you to speak out on behalf of Miriam and her two children, a 20-month-old and a two-week-old, that are eligible for American citizenship. And of course, we cannot forget that we have other Americans, Pastor Abedini in Iran, who's been in a prison for over two years, another American that we've left behind. Now, as I mentioned, I am a, a Marine veteran, and I'm grateful that we bring home our servicemen who have been held captive. I'm grateful that we did bring home Bergdahl, Sergeant Bergdahl, although the circumstances there are suspicious. But as a Marine, I think I can speak for most veterans. Women and children first. This administration needs to find its voice for two children who will die if this administration does not speak out on their behalf. And if this president is content with the blood of small children on his hands, then God help him. I, for one, am not. And I would encourage you to speak out on behalf of Miriam and her children. We have done something we've never done before, but the only way apparently to get this administration's attention is to use their website petition process. Now, for me, it's, it's a strange thing that you won't speak out for the defenseless unless you have 100,000 people sign a petition. But if that's the rules, then we'll use the rules. Even though this administration is lawless, we'll play by their rules. And so over 40,000 Americans have signed the petition. I encourage you to go to the web house, uh, the White House website and sign that petition. Uh, we made it easy. You can go to frc.org slash Sudan. It takes you right to the White House website and you can sign that petition on behalf of Miriam and her two children. If this administration will not speak up, I encourage you to speak up for them and give them a voice and not rest until they are released. Thank you for being here.